Ms. Carly, and this is my fifth video of my series. Thanks for coming back. Um, I wanted to go over some things in this video in regards to my second post-op appointment with Dr. L, and then also go over a little bit of a timeline of my recovery. I have made some notes um, of the things I was able to do and pinnacle moments of my recovery time. So naturally, take your recovery uh, day by day, and I'm just giving highlights to what I have experienced and just take it for what I have and do your own thing. So, all right, so let's talk about um, my recovery. So some, I actually wrote them down here. So um, like I mentioned before in the past videos with the pain medication, I kept going longer and longer and longer without taking it because obviously, you want to stop taking them. So that was my point because I did want to get them. Um, I wanted to be off of them as quickly as possible and also because that would just help my body as well um, in regards to being bloated and whatnot. So um, right around um, day five actually post-op is when I first got behind the wheel. So uh, I wasn't really too nervous. I did, you know, like I mentioned that I felt like I was an 80 year old. So that's how I had to drive like an 80 year old. So I basically drove with my hands under the wheel, noth nothing above the wheel because it, it was too much pressure and whatnot. So I just took my time. Luckily, all, all my errands and my work are about three miles from my house. So I wasn't going far. Um, also, like I said, like I was weaning myself off of the medication, so um, I was taking a half a Vicodin only uh, post-op day seven through nine, and I seemed to have needed it at around 5 a.m. when I would wake up to go to the bathroom. So that's when I woke up and I felt like I needed the, the half of a Vicodin. So I did that for about three days, and just like any kind of medication, especially like this, since you will be detoxing off of it, um, I did want to wean myself off because I did notice that um, when around probably day eight or nine, I was getting some headaches throughout the day, which just means that I'm detoxing because I don't ever get headaches ever. So, um, and then also a really, really important day was day nine. It was almost like someone snapped their fingers. I felt awesome. And I believe the main reason for me feeling so great is that my shoulders finally started to become unhunched. It was, I think, really difficult for me being hunched in, especially because I work behind a desk. So all versus me laying down during when I was home, which is fine, but all of a sudden I was sitting upright all day long hunched in and I'm a person that has pretty good po posture if not really great um, so it was really difficult for me to be pushed in so all of a sudden I felt a dramatic difference in my being on day nine it was like snap I felt great I was moving around more better and all that good stuff um, also because the reason why um, you also hunch in and the difficult with, with the pain is that your muscles are, are um, definitely in shock still and they need to relax from having a foreign object in them. Makes total sense, right? Um, so on day 10, I was 100% medication free and that includes Tylenol. I, I, not a fan of taking over the counter anything or really any kind of drugs or anything. So um, I was medication free and I slept for the first time with just my pillow versus a 45 degree angle. So that was a, a big day too. So day 10 was great. Um, day 12, this is interesting. And of course, I didn't hear really any ladies talk about it. So I was Googling it like, what is this? Um, my breasts are normally not sensitive at all. Well, a little bit, but really not at all. I had all of a sudden noticed that uh, my breasts were hypersensitive around day 12. And what I come to find out, it is totally normal. It is the nerves 
um, sometimes from maybe being cut during surgery, they are mending or they're just getting straightened out. Totally normal. Um, and also a good thing, which I'm wearing right now, so don't freak out because this is only lace. Um, I had read that wearing um, those silicone um, pasties would help and alleviate some of that discomfort I was facing with the hypersensitivity, which they're great. I actually ordered five more pairs off the internet because I have a pair, which I'm wearing now, which I bought years ago thinking I would need them, but knowing that I would never really go braless as my intentions were like, yeah, I could do that. Well, no, it never happened. So I actually had them for probably about two or three years. So I was like, finally, I can use these things. They've been sitting in my drawer. Um, also, um, on day 13, right after, I had noticed a little bit of skin peeling and dryness on my breasts. Again, totally normal. Um, from what Dr. L told me is that a little bit of the peeling of the skin is actually from the swelling going down. So awesome, right? Um, so day 15 was actually my one week post-op. So um, we took off the surgical strips and also um, I was able to start the scar treatment um, that they actually had provided for me, which was awesome. And that's also what I wanna next kind of go into. So um, why I love the practice that I chose. So like I mentioned before, they gave me all sorts of things to help with my recovery because they are so big on really making you, helping you in the recovery process and making it as easy and helping your scars and all that great stuff. So like I mentioned before, they provided me um, an antibiotic. I actually mentioned before that it was like um, an anti-inflammatory. I was a little confused. I think that was surgery morning. So it was an antibiotic first. Um, to start and then also they had given me a post-op antibacterial wash which actually um, was is aloe vera base which was pretty awesome because I looked at the label because I'm kind of weird about foreign things um, as much as I have these foreign things in me about just things on my skin and just being um, healthy and cognitive of things that I put on my body and in my body. Um, so it was aloe vera base, which was awesome. And then also um, they had given me the scar treatment gel, uh, which I started. And then also I had mentioned um, for the first nine days post-op, they had provided with me um, a multi-pack of vitamins that were actually a that would help with the aid of the soft tissue repair, which was awesome. And then also they do something which is awesome is they have a pill that you take two times a day um, for actually they recommend 18 months. And that multivitamin is actually to help with the scar tissue, which is awesome. I actually haven't heard of any of the other ladies on the on the vlogs in regards to the products that their doctor's office provided for them um but not to say that they didn't but these are just the little things that my office provided for me and i'm very thankful that they kind of set me up for success right um so what else can i go over oh in regards to finally getting off the pain medication and actually totally um, de-puffing as well. So it was actually day 10. Let me double check here. Day 10, I officially um, lost all lost all the weight that I had gained um, from taking all the medication and being under anesthesia and whatnot. So, and that's something I kind of want to go over with you ladies and possible gentlemen is the scale. So let's talk about the scale. I only use the scale as a guide. Remember, it's a scale. It's, it's not living, it cannot judge you, it cannot do anything. Its only purpose is scientifically is to gauge how much weight is keeping you on the ground. So 
don't go crazy about the scale. It's cool. Use it as a scientific device for yourself. And that's what I use the scale for. Whenever I get on the scale, it tells me what I'm doing. What's going on? Did I maybe have something with too much sodium in it? What did I eat? Did that work for me? So, um, so that's what I kind of want to talk about in regards to this because I know a lot of females would totally freak out over a 10 pound weight gain or so. And if you will freak out, just don't get on the scale for like 12 days. It should be fine. As long as you're keeping your fluids high and you're getting all your nutrients in and whatnot, everything should be great and there should be any, any sort of problems with that. Um, so I have my next post-op appointment in on actually my six week anniversary. Um, so I'm really excited to see Dr. Al in, at the six week mark, which is when, again, I can officially wear a regular bra um, with underwire. So actually what he told me I could do um, after my appointment is that I can officially graduate to a sports bra. So that's kind of cool. Um, I did notice that when I did take off the post-surgical bra, because you are so bound up, which kind of a fan of being like really tight in. Um, when I did wear the sports bra that next day, I actually did have some discomfort and I was noticing I was moving much slower and I kind of felt like I went backwards only because they were more free to roam around. So, um, but that just went away after like about eight hours, I really started feeling back to normal as if I was wearing the um, post opera. So, uh, also, I am wearing this awesome bralette. Um, as you can see, yay! Um, this was kind of another big moment for me because these bralettes, I've always wanted one and I would have never worn one before being an A cup because there is nothing to these things. And I was always such a heavy padded bra girl that I would never just be like, hey, this is what I really look like. So I was so excited to purchase one of one of these. In fact, I bought a couple of them. Um, so I love it and I can't wait to wear them more. Um, also, I'm all over the place I feel, but I keep thinking about these things so I didn't really write anything down. Um, massages, that's one thing I did wanna talk about. So. In a lot of the videos, I had seen a lot of girls doing these really intense massages, which of course their doctors prescribed for them. That's great. So I was thinking, well, I'm probably gonna have to do all these slightly aggressive moves. Well, no, I don't. So since, like I said, my, my implants are pretty much exactly where they should be, I don't need to be doing any sort of like crazy movements. He just wants me to do very simple back and forth movements back and forth like this for like two minutes each breast, two times a day. So again, uh, take what your doctor says, don't try to do any sort of weird things. I've seen some real crazy stuff which I was totally nervous about. Luckily, so far, I don't have to do any of those. Um, so yeah, so it's just moving the breast around so it can soften up. Um, but other than that, uh, I'm pretty sure that's my update so far. Um, I did want to share another quote because um, if you can't tell, I do love myself a good quote, especially one that is um, uplifting. So this is something that I saw and I really loved it and it kind of goes with the fact of just doing you. That's my theme. So the quote is, I have no idea who it's by, didn't say anything. It says, nudity empowers some, modesty empowers some. Different things empower different women and it's not your place to tell her which one it is. So that's my quote because also I wanted to briefly talk about something in regards which um, kind of led me on to this and thinking about like society and being judged for a certain size is that a lot of times when I told people what I was doing, their first thought to me was, 
oh my gosh, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you. I was like, oh great. And then generally their second sentence to me was, you're not going to go huge, are you? And I was like, whoa, whoa, mm, that's odd. Um, because I thought to myself, what if I did want to go huge? Are you going to judge me because I decided I wanted a big size? And I just wanted to kind of go along the lines of that um, quote that I said, because really it's no one's place to tell you what size or what you should be doing or anything like that. You just do whatever makes you happy. I did what makes me happy and I'm thankful for it again. Do you, don't worry about everybody else and enjoy life and all that great stuff. So. Thanks everyone for watching and I look forward to making another video. Of course, send me any sort of questions, emails, comments in regards to questions that you have, maybe something I missed or something you want me to go more into detail about and or if you want me to make other videos because I'm totally cool with that. So um, thank you everyone for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.